hello folks and welcome everybody uh, in this tutorial i will show you how you can create global volumetric lighting so without any further ado let's get started so as you can see i have this model and i will create a three point lighting uh, so that we can achieve the global volumetric lighting from the spotlight so let's create arnold uh, area light and I'll just make it a little bit bigger like this and I'll rotate a little bit like that okay and I will go to the attributes now I will use color temperature around 7000 I will use an exposure value of around 7 and I will spread around 0.5 so it's basically like this right like a cone lighting so let's take a test window so here it is as you can see my lighting I will decrease the exposure a little bit around 5 nice now I will duplicate this light right and I will rotate it and I will also do a test render for this nice so as you can see my light is getting a little bit of brighter and I will use an exposure value of 3 right and I will go to my camera view and I will use my test render okay now it's good so and we'll use the fun part that is our global lighting so I will go to my rendering and I will use the spotlight right and I will do is I will use a color temperature around 2500 exposure value 15 right and I will go to panels and look to selected and I will go to this far right there and I will go to my Arnold render view right and I will go to my cone angle and decrease a little bit increase my pen number angle okay right now I will add the gobo filter so let's go to our light filters add gobo add go to AI gobo here and inside the slide map you in install your gobo map right I will be using this Gobo Windows Blind open and now let's take a look nice now as you can see it's very very small at the moment right here so what we'll do I will go to my lights and I will go to my cone angle and increase a little bit there we go and I will also increase my pen number angle so it will make the edges softer right and now I will do is go to my I will select I will select my spotlight go to panels look for selected right and I'll just play with it like this nice right and now I will do some uh, extra lighting 
for example I will use some mesh, mesh light so I will select this this part of the mechanical object it's it's kind of uh, like mimicking a light so I will go to on old lights mesh light and I will use a color of like cyan color and expose a bevel of around 3 all right and I will also take this light is visible and I will go to my on old open render view right and now also I will select one of his left eyes here and I will go to on old lights mesh light light visible color red expose around 3 All right there we go nice now we'll take a overall look of it nice now what I'll do is I will add volumetric so that we will create some nice you know depth to it I will go to control A and probably increase a little bit of density just play with this settings uh, until you're happy with it depending upon your scale and uh, the scene size uh, it will you know affect your render so I am happy with it right so I will make sure that I do some quick render settings. I will use camera angle of 6, diffuse around 3, specular 2, volume indirect 2 and I use progressive render. In the ray depth I use a diffuse value of 3, specular 2. I do not use transmission, I kept it default that way. Right and that's it. I will finish the render and I will show what I get so guys here my render because as you can see uh, it's uh, nice you know volumetric we're getting some volumetric rays or god rays and this nice pattern in the background and the lights it's quite dramatic and nice so if you like the video, subscribe, like, share and comment. See you soon.